Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. It's a very, very big news for Pokemon Go players. Greetings, my friends. The video you are about to watch contains a hell lot of information about the update Niantic is going to, going to roll out for gym rework and some unannounced update that I'm going to share with you. So before uh, going into the details, before diving into what Niantic has announced for gym rework update uh, let me just quickly explain to what has already happened in the game today so first things first gyms have been disabled we are getting gyms are under construction message whenever we click any gym and Niantic support has already told that the defenders will return to trainers in next few hours not right now so by the time you are watching this video probably they would have written to you uh, next big update new spawn points have been added or you can call the spawn points have been shuffled most likely uh, i haven't seen a confirmed report of spawn points being removed but that is still possible spawn points have been shuffled is the better choice of words and the next the nearby pokemon are now sorted by distance meaning that the first one in the list is from the closest pokestop to you so that's that's a cool thing i'm not sure about if this applies to sightings as well but we have uh, researchers in pokemon go community that can do this job for us and last thing but not the least is that the poke coins oh what has happened okay yes the poke coins will still be available for free after the gym river but the Niantic support staff has already confirmed that your Pokemon will only fetch you Poke Coins only after it returns from the gym. Meaning that whenever its motivation meter reaches zero and it will return to you, then and then only you'll get Poke Coins for that. And the longer it stays more poke coins it will fetch for you so it's a kind of trade off it will not immediately reward you poke coins like you used to do for the course of 21 hours but you'll get its rewards only after it returns so that is it guys now let's go straight into the article let me elucidate how Niantic has announced the update let's go straight into the article Niantic has recently announced the biggest update so far in the game and that is the revamped gym system yes and there is a hell lot of information that I am covering in this video so hold your breath and listen to it and please be aware that even i am not aware of all of this information so i might have missed something in this video or i might not be knowing uh, everything about whatever is shared in this article so please excuse so and we will cover that as and when the information unfolds i will post it on twitter so please stay tuned to the channel and if you're new subscribe to my channel and follow me on twitter for more detailed updates for now let's dive into what we know at the moment so niantic has posted this humongous article which says a lot so i'll go through the highlights uh, and i'll let you read the entire article in the description below so the first biggest update is from gyms you will be able to spin pokestops as if they are focused on itself so that means you will be able to get items from gyms also that's very cool feature and was least discussed i guess in the pokemon go community but it has been 
listened to by Niantic and they have implemented it. And also, there will no longer be 10 slotted gyms. Gyms will only have 6 permanent slots with every unique species. For example, only one Blissey can be assigned to a gym at a time. That's what they have mentioned. And there will be there will no there will no longer be this prestiging and training system. It will only be motivation. Motivation is what at the crux of the gym system. And motivation meter will drive the gym's stability and its level. So over time and after losing battles motivation of gym defenders will go on decreasing and to give it more motivation the defending trainers will have to feed new type of berries they have mentioned trainers can treat berries which restore their motivation and if a pokemon loses all motivation it will leave the gym and return to its trainer the next the next time it loses a battle so you'll want to keep your team's Pokemon motivated by giving them berries frequently. At the moment we don't know if we can feed them remotely or not. Most likely not. You'll have to go to that gym physically and then feed berries to it. That's quite a cool feature and it's very very exciting. They have also shared some screenshots about it. That looks pretty similar to what we already see just a little graphical changes but here is what the big ui changes list of ui changes begin there is an answering charizard tyranitar even pikachu espion and hitmonchan can be seen in this gym which is quite astounding considering the fact that uh, we only see same type of pokemon over and over and i also missed one more point while mentioning the gym battle systems that Pokemon will be assigned in first come first serve basis they'll get the seeds first come first serve that means the whoever puts his Pokemon first in the gym will hold higher level that is what we guess because there is one line opposing teams will battle the Pokemon in the order they were assigned to the gym that means pokemon that, that means a defender who plays this mon first will have a little advantage that means you can no longer come late to the party and sit on top of gyms because only because you have that 100% iv tyranitar with maxed out cp that's cool you even you can put in a pikachu or that's 100% IV Spearow at top of the gym. No, there is nothing like top of the gym at the moment. Spearow will be the last to battle. So that means you can almost put any Pokemon that you like, whatever you like it. That's cool. And these are some other UI screenshots which look pretty pretty cool and something that we always wanted from day one of this game so this is how gyms will be spinnable oh i just my eyes were caught by that 10 kilometer egg but aside from that gyms will be also treated as pokestops and this also looks cool so this gym has four defenders and my battle party contains the battling six pokemon which look cool isn't it and look at this ui isn't it very very catchy tyranitar 22910 battles one uh, versus the level 30 trainer having gengar at 2053 cp zero battles one oh that that looks very very cool and one more new aspect being added to the game is gym badges now you you will be able to earn badges when interacting with many gyms around the world more the variety of the gyms you visit more badges you'll earn that's cool you'll be able to level up your badges by battling giving berries to the pokemon in the gym and spinning the photo disc that's very very amazingly cool isn't it 
means uh, if you have a gym nearby to your home nearby to your workplace and you visit it regularly that will be your favorite and the gym the bad the gym badge that you will have for that particular gym you can level it up easily just because you have more access to it and that looks cool and if you visit to another part of the city another part of the world anywhere uh, so but by battling those gyms you will be able to get more diversified gym badges that's very very cool and that will i'm sure encourage a lot of you guys even me to go and visit more and more of our neighborhood and that is how gym badges will look like so depending on the gym's name this will look pretty pretty cool isn't it and as far as my guess goes in this gym called bay bridge that the trainer has assigned its pikachu and the gym badge has been leveled up a bit compared to the other gym badges and this is how it looks tyranitar time defending wow that looks cool isn't it uh, you'll be able to see from how long your pokemon is defending this gym time defended victories treats treat means how many berries you have fed to the defender that's cool and another massive multiplayer aspect is being added that is called as new raid battle feature so as they have said it is a cooperative gameplay experience that encourages to to work with other trainers to defeat an extremely powerful pokemon known as the red boss red boss is something you should look after and the rewards are even more exciting i'll cover that soon but just be aware that you no longer uh, after reading this you might be thinking oh no i play the game solo how do i survive in this red feature no you know you don't need to have the army of uh, trainers with you this is what they have said before a red battle begins i'll read what it what they have actually said before a red battle begins all pokemon assigned to the gym will return to their trainers and a large egg will appear atop the gym when the count down above the egg reaches zero the red boss will be revealed red boss is something that uh, could be a gang leader could be termed as a gang leader as well so it could be blissy it could be tyranitar it could be alakazam gengar whatever that has been assigned to the gym let me read the next part before you can battle the raid boss you will need a raid pass you can get one free raid pass per day by visiting a gym but you can only hold one at a time you can also get premium raid passes from the in game shop upon using your pass to join the battle you and up to 20 other trainers work together to defeat the raid boss if you successfully defeat the raid boss within 5 minute time limit you will have the chance to catch an extra powerful pokemon of your own <sighs> i'll leave that interpretation to you you can interpret this as it could be legendaries or it could be some rare pokemon but they have said an extra powerful pokemon so this is how raids will look like nearby they nearby will now have two tabs everybody was requesting nearby and sightings but not very similar it's like pokemon and raid so it's probably like ongoing means uh, raid is already going on and the egg means there is some time left before you can start the battle a raid rather that's interesting and this is how the countdown or other uh gyms will look like if a raid battle is about to begin not sure how to initiate a raid battle that's not mentioned by niantic and this is the screenshot of receiving a raid pass oh this is the big part 
it will have a humongously high cp the raid boss will have around 20 to 25000 cp which is big pretty pretty big not sure how raid boss will be decided we don't have any information over that and this ui also looks cool isn't it quit items group code not sure how group code will play into the picture and then you have trainers who are joining the battle okay that's very very amazing and look at that five minute battle against raid boss oh that alakazam looks beast and its entire hp bar looks almost untouched 165 seconds left and it is battling a peltry 2644 cp jolteon yes that is why to minimize the gap you'll need more and more trainers and this multiplayer aspect will come into the picture okay this is the most most exciting part i know every part of this update has been exciting but this is another exciting part after defeating a raid boss you will receive a collection of rewards including some new items obtained only by defeating raid boss that means uh, you can only get this item by defeating raid boss rare candies golden raspberries and two types of TMs, yes, TMs, TMs are coming by 100% IV Machamp with bullets, bullet punch and heavy slam is waiting for TMs. Fast and charge technical machines are coming. Now they have explained in one line what these items mean. A rare candy is a mysterious candy that when used on a Pokemon turns into that Pokemon's candy. I mean, this should be treated as uh, a candy that can be used to power up or evolve any type of Pokemon that you find rare. For example, that Lapras you can't find candies for or that Porygon you can't find candies for. You can use rare candies on these types of rare Pokemon which is pretty amazing. And then you have golden raspberries that will greatly increase your chances of catching a wild Pokemon. Golden raspberries will increase the catches, catch rate significantly. But not catch rate but the odds of catching that Pokemon. And can also be given to a Pokemon assigned to a gym to fully recover its motivation meter. That's very cool feature. So uh, it's, it's like coin that you can use for two purposes. You can either give it to your defender to heal its motivation meter to the maximum level or you can feed it to that rare dragonite you have just encountered just to ensure that you catch it without failure i mean it will not be like master ball but i'm sure the catch catching odds will be increased significantly and technical machines are items you can use to permanently teach a pokemon a new fast attack or charged attack that's amazing so my 100 percent raichu with I guess spark and brick break will like to have the charged technical machine and the rest of the thing is already known except one thing will be temporarily disabling all gyms from today I, that is 19th or 20th depending on which time zone you are in currently once the update has rolled out to the players around the world gyms will return the raid battle feature will then be rolled out slowly over the next few weeks starting as a beta i'm sorry i should have pronounced it as starting as a beta with raids visible only to a subset of players at certain gym locations it could probably mean that they will be only available for level 30 plus trainers that's just my guess it could be level 35 or level 20 5 plus players as well so that's up to Niantic and moreover they have also mentioned that they will be only available to certain gym locations so it is safe to assume that they will only be available for uh, metro cities big cities only not and even in big cities not all gyms will be impacted with this beta so in this beta feature only certain gyms will be affected 
and over a few days we'll invite more players to participate and enable raids at more gyms around the world keep an eye out on social media okay that's pretty exciting that ends the article but wasn't it exciting tell me guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you find this update exciting so let me know if i have missed out to highlight uh, that one thing that i missed out in this video please let me know how you are feeling how excited you are for this update to bring for neantic to bring i'm super duper excited that's amazing that's hell lot of updates it's almost like a new game is being launched by neantic and trust me this is why they took so long to roll out this feature and this is the biggest update so far in the game and yes john hanky was right when he said that the current gym system is pretty rude pretty pretty rudimentary and they want to change the way gyms work so this is a big 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 update and i can't wait to live in the moment when the gym will be revamped completely and i'll get to use all of these features and the reason why they have put raids into beta is because they want to test for any bugs uh, that might occur with this thing so as soon as this solstice event ends i'm expecting an update i'm expecting an update with uh, uh, the code for all this raids available in the apk most likely they'll not announce it as we know neantic how they are good at uh, communicating to the community <laughs> but uh, in a week or so after this all stage event ends we might see these updates starting to roll out so it could be the last week of june or at the very latest it would be the first week of july that is when we'll see we'll get to live in this all new pokemon go world so hope you guys are as excited as i am and so keep watching my twitter handle and keep watching my videos stay tuned stay subscribed to get more updates and i'll post them on my twitter or youtube as and when we get more information thanks for watching this video share it with your friends and have a good day